G'day everyone, Taylor MB here. Today I'm going to show you how to downgrade any of your Steam games to an older version. My purpose for doing this is because version 1.2 of Bannerlord broke my current save file when I was only a few hours away from completing the game, and any Mountain Blade enjoyers would know that the insane time commitment it took just to get to that stage in the game, and I do not have the mental fortitude to start a whole new game. So, I'll be showing you how to download the previous version of Bannerlord so I can continue my old save file. But importantly, these steps can be applied to any game in your Steam library. A quick note before we begin, if you've seen any guides for using the Steam console to downgrade your games, unfortunately that strategy no longer works and can only be used to download the current version, which is useless for our purposes which is why I got sent down this rabbit hole and why I'm making this tutorial to begin with. Also, if you've already partially completed the steps required for this process, please see the timestamps on screen now or the chapters in the description to skip straight to the parts you require. Step one, use Steam Database to find the app and depot ID for your game and the manifest ID for the specific patch you want to download. Use link one in the description below. Search for your game and record this app ID for later use. Scroll down to Depots or click on the link in the sidebar. Search for the depot that appears to have actual content for the game. In Bannerlord's case, it will require two downloads from two different depots, as some of the single player modules are split into this smaller download for a reason I don't specifically know. Record these depot IDs for later use and then click on the depot ID. On the sidebar, click on Manifests. Depending how old the version is you want to download, you might now have to sign in to Steam Database to see that far back, and as it only records the first 20 or so by default. To find the correct Manifest ID can be a little bit tricky, as this list will include all the better or test versions of updates that m you might have never seen as an end user on Steam. What I did to find my correct manifest was scroll back on the Steam page and look at the patch note releases to find the most recent version before 1.2 and then match that up to the release date on the Steam database list. Save this manifest ID for later. Step 2. Now we have all the appropriate information from Steam, it's time to download an open source depot downloader from GitHub. Link number two in description. Use the sidebar to navigate to the latest releases and download the version appropriate for your operating system. Once downloaded, cut the zip to any location on your computer and extract all. Step 2.5, optional. You may or may not require this step for your computer. It was listed as a requirement for depot downloader to work by the GitHub contributors, but it was not required for my machine as presumably I already had a Windows program that could handle this function. So for simplicity's sake, I'd recommend skipping for now, but if you get any errors, come back to this step, use the link number 2.5 in the description to download Microsoft.NET 5.0 runtime, simply select your operating system and download the Run Console Apps option, once downloaded, just double click on the EXE straight from the download location and Microsoft Install Wizard will handle the rest. Step 3. Now it's finally time to begin the download. Open up your start menu and search CMD to open up command prompt. Start with a quotation mark and then copy and paste the address of where you unzipped a depot downloader to, including the file name and the extension into command prompt. Finish with another quotation mark. Should look similar to as is on screen now. For now, all you've done is tell command prompt what program it's going to run, but provided no parameters to the program so it knows what to do. This is where the app, depot, and manifests ID come into play. Follow the same format that is on screen, just replace the IDs with the appropriate ones from your game, and also enter your Steam username and password. If your password has special characters, that will very likely break command prompt. So remove that section from the code, and command prompt will ask you for it later. Once you've entered everything accurately, press the enter key. If you have two-factor authentication set up on your Steam account, which I highly recommend setting up if you don't, 
the command will pause until you provide that authentication from your mobile device. And now congratulations are in order. You are successfully downloading an older version of your Steam game. I'd already started this download, so the first 2% or so is just validating existing files, but soon the word validating will be replaced with a percentage of where my download is up to. I'll see you guys once my super slow Aussie internet has completed the download for the final step. Step 4. You now have two different versions of the same game on your computer. It's time for some copying and pasting. On the Steam library page for your game, press Manage, Properties, Installed Files, and Browse. When you open your game from Steam, this is where it will run from. I'm planning on upgrading back to the current 1.2 patch in a week or so's time, so I'm going to cut these files into a subfolder so I don't have to re-download later. Also, I've got a mods folder in here that I'll have to copy back into the run directory later. If you don't have mods, or you don't plan to upgrade anytime soon, you can just delete all these files instead. At the bottom of command prompt, it will tell you where the files were downloaded to. Navigate to that location, or two locations in Bannerlord's case with two different depots and copy and paste the entire contents except the .depot downloader file into your Steam run directory. I specifically recommend copying these files, not cutting, because when the developers push their next update, it will re-upgrade your game in Steam and replace your files. So to save yourself needing to re-download the old patch again, keep them safe in a backup location. And now, you are done. You can launch your game from Steam just like normal. For my Bannerlord brethren, or anyone playing on a heavily modded game, you might still run into difficulties depending how mature your save file was, or how impactful your mods were. For transparency's sake, I did get patch 1.1.6 working flawlessly for a new game, or for a very old save file, but for a recent save file, combined with the Kingdom Destruction mod I was running, was unfortunately conflicting with the freshly downloaded story mode module. So the game would run for about one week in-game before crashing. So unfortunately, my old save file is kaput. If you're running sandbox mode, I don't imagine you'll have any issues. If you're not running any mods, I don't imagine you'll have any issues either. But regardless, I wish you all the best in your continued conquest of Kalradia. Thanks for watching everyone. Peace out.